Saint Francis of Rome, religious and widow, we commemorate on 9th March. Saint Francis was born into a noble Roman family in the year 1384. From an early age, Francis felt drawn to the religious life, but at the age of 13, her parents forced her into marriage with young Lorenzo, a pious and virtuous noble man of Rome. Blessed with six children, their 40 years of marriage was a happy one, never once marred by Carl. <coughs> and though she had the gift of absorbing prayer and detachment from earthly things, she always maintained that a devout married woman must never forget that she is a housewife and that at times she is obliged to leave her devotions at the altar in order to find God in her domestic duties. <clears throat> As Frances became acquainted with her in-laws, she found that the wife of her brother-in-law felt the same calling to the religious life as she did. From this point on, the two women began to work to help the poor. Frances' example of personal sanctity and moderated penances, her zeal for souls and charity towards the poor, served to draw numerous Roman noble women away from a life of idle luxury and in 1433, they formed the Benedictine Oblate Congregation, whose constitution was formally approved by Pope Eugene IV in 1433, and which exists to this day, working for the sick and the poor. There were no formal vows or strict enclosure, but definite rules for prayer, visits to the sick, and the poor. After the plague swept through Rome and left one of Francis' children dead, she began to turn again to charitable work. Francis gave up all her wealth to the sick and poor and began to go door to door, raising money to aid the sick and poor. After the plague claimed Francis' daughter, she opened up a wing of her home as a hospital for the poor. After setting up the foundation of the society, Frances continued to live with her husband until his death. After his death, Frances lived the rest of her life with the society that she formed. She died on 9th March 1440. She was canonized on 29th May 1608 by Pope Paul V. She is the patron of widows and motorists. The life of Francis of Rome calls each of us not only to look deeply for God in prayer, but also to carry our devotion to Jesus living in the suffering of our world. Francis shows us that this life need not be restricted to those bound by vows. As the saint of the day said, let us be assured by giving ourselves to God, we not only receive him in exchange, but eternal life as well. <laughs>